This is a tactile smartwatch uh, called Dot, and to tell us more about it, excuse me if I can just cut in front of the camera there, uh, is Elizabeth. Good morning. So, uh, can you tell us about uh, this uh, this watch? Oh, sure. Uh, this is the smartwatch for the indie, uh, bright people and then uh, blind people, and uh, actually they are using the smartphone, but. They don't. They using the smartphone like hearing, you know, hearing okay. part. So it's difficult to understand what is like what uh, what kind of messages they got. So when they are using this smart watch, they can read the, any kinds of messages with this, and then it has a touch sense in the bottom. So when they read the messages, and then when they got the long messages, that they can read it. And they can touch this button, and they can read contents. Oh, it just keeps it yes, keeps on going. Keeps, yeah, okay. right. And then when they got the phone call, we can see the screen, but they can't see. So that's why they can check their names in this. Oh, it, sh it shows the caller ID. ID. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't show it. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. And then the interesting thing is that it can check the time with a braille and um, like uh, uh, even even we I'm not the blind people but I can check the time with this smartwatch it's for like uh, counting the dot yeah yeah oh, it will show a, a number version as well as the braille version yeah right okay yeah. yes you see now it has a 10 dots right uh, it means okay, yeah, 10 yeah. o'clock and it doesn't have any dots here which means like a 10 o'clock exactly yeah well oh, it's we have a one dot here uh, now which means one dot for around five minutes and then when i push here again it has zero here and it has five which means 10.05 okay yes you can see 10.05 <laughs> Excellent. And yes. uh, so, what kind of apps can it connect to? Do they need? Uh, does the user need to uh, have a special app from you, or just anything? Uh, any kinds of apps in the smartphone, such as like uh, messengers. Uh, in Korea, we are using the Kakaoto, oh, yeah. and in China, they are using WeChat. Uh -huh. Any kinds of uh, applications. Right. So really, it's the out the the watch is interpreting the output from the app, yes. not kind of deliberately designed for one particular app. Yeah, well, that's, right. that's fantastic. <laughs> and then I suppose, uh, since this is a sourcing show, I should ask you questions about that. If someone wants to buy one of these or kind of to get, uh, make an order for distribution, mm -hmm. is that possible? What's your you know, minimum order quantities? Uh, actually, every country has different costs. But in, in US, like uh, 490 US dollars. 490.